we're building the main hull of a Strike 15 trimaran. Uh, you can see we've already cut out all the hull panels and fitted the framing to it. We've also made the dagger ball case and the king post assembly and they've been glued in place. So far we've spent 25 hours building and what I'm going to do now is assemble the boat so that it will look like a boat but I'm going to do it as a dry fit because uh, epoxy and canvas don't really meet. You'll also see down on the panel that I put little blue butt blocks which are temporary holding for the screws when I assemble it. So I'm going to do this side first. Everything's pre-marked. All the bulkheads have been marked on the hull panels. So it's simply a question of screwing them together. Making sure that they all line up and we've got this already been positioned. Now most people would say this was stitch and glue, but the stitching using copper wire takes a very long time. And I found it's much easier with these long flat panels to simply use these butt blocks. And then remove them at the end. A transom fit. So some of the frames have already been put on, glued on, as I said. These holes are for the transom because it's a self draining cockpit. The other thing about stitching glue is that it's very difficult to get it all to stay square. And one advantage of doing the dagger ball case like this is that the dagger ball case is on the centre line and is all square with the mast and all. So there's no problem of it being at an angle. So that's that side. Same on this side. Screw the hole. Hull sides fit on top of the keel panel so that it's bound to form a fair curve. And I'll just next screw on the transom. The centre line of the panel lines up with the centre line of the transom. It has to be square. And 
then another bulkhead to fit. There is another bulkhead that goes to the back of the cockpit, but that's not fitted until later. So you can see them fitting onto there. And all I have to do now is screwing from underneath to ensure that the panel pulls up against there. I'll come around the other side now. On the other side. See, it's beginning to look like a boat. It's got the bulkheads going in now. Move forward. You'll have to come around the other side. Oh, and the steps. to fit in a space across the top, hold it this right width. Make it easier to do the bottom. to put a bolt through the front so that that locks the hole, locks the bows because obviously as it comes to a point they uh, don't want to have it twisted and then I've got a stamp post and it's a very wide one because there's going to be a bowsprit. It's going to fit through there for the asymmetric spinnaker. So that goes there. Oops. Down in place. Interesting the screw but Okay to fit.
going to stitch it, let's tape it where necessary, like here for example, I use some duct tape on the outside. And we'll go round the boat and duct tape it where necessary. Doing the epoxying on the inside. So, one here. Like that. And there. Carry on doing that, but that's basically it. And then the only thing left to do to show you. Basically, pretty light, and in fact, it weighs 16 kilos as it is. So, there you are instant bug building one strike 15.